Let's see how we can create a brand new page from the start because we may want different sizes and different um, guidelines to help us depending on what we're going to use our page for. So let's close a page if we have it open. Go up to File. I'm going to close this, this page we were working on before. And we're going to get a new page by either clicking right here, this button that says New, the, the piece of paper, or we're going to go up to File and click on New which also has a shortcut of control N. So clicking on that, we open this dialog box and uh, you have several options here for the use of the work. I recommend right now, let's, let's just use show all comic settings. These other ones, they're a little more uh, limited or they have more specific purposes and uh, show all comic settings will be good for our use right now. It's the default, so it, sh it should be selected automatically. And this is right here is our preview of the page that we're going to be making. And we have several options. These are all uh, presets we could use. Any of these. They have their different purposes. 72 DPI is what we would, we would use for the internet or for the web, because uh, 72 is the standard uh, image resolution. 600 or anything over 300 really is going to be for uh, print because it needs a higher quality. Um, but you can also at the bottom make a custom page and I'll show you how to do that right now. So the units that we're talking about when we say our width and our height, it can totally change. It depends on what you want it for. So right now it's up here unit millimeters. But if we want it in inches, we can change it to inches. If we want it in pixels, we can change it to pixels. I'm going to put it in inches for now. And I'm going to use a kind of a standard comic page size of 11 inches by 17 inches. And let's put our resolution at 600. That should be fine. Uh, the basic expression color it should be on color. I think I used this before, but we want it on color for now so that we can uh, have color in the images and so on. Uh, paper color is just what the background is going to be. You can change it to another color if you want, or you can just leave it at white. Yellow we probably don't want. Let's change it back to white. <laughs> and uh, you could also have it with no color, but we want color for now. A template is whether we're going to have a kind of the shapes of the panels kind of pre-made and I actually never use these, but if you do want to use these, they are available to you. It might be a kind of a faster way to set up your page. If you, if you know it, what it's going to be looking like and you don't want to mess with having to create your panels manually, this is a fast way to do that, but I'm not going to use template right now. So uncheck that. And manga draft settings are going to be, these kind of guidelines that are around the page. They're mainly for when you're printing a page, like in a magazine, they'll have an area called the bleed in which you, you can kind of go beyond what's actually going to be on the page so that you can, um, when they cut the page, it's going to lose that edge, but it, it may help you when you're drawing. So there are, uh, I'm going to change these to 10 by 15. And you notice that actually our page size changed when we did that. Um, I'm going to put our bleed at 0.25 as well. But once you've done that, you can change it back to 11 by 17. And our default border, I'm going to put that at 9 by 14. And this is definitely not something that you have to do. If you're working digitally, I don't even use these manga draft settings, but we're not working, uh, well, we could be working digitally. And later on, I'm going to show you how you can make a digital comic book. But right now I'm going to just make this so you have the draft settings if you want it for print. Um, usually if you're working with a magazine or a comic book publisher, they'll provide you their, their kind of uh, recommended or required um, setup, whether it's the size of the page and the the bleed and the cutoff points, so they'll give you that information. So that is um, 
our draft settings. And if we like these settings and we want to keep them, we can save them for future use. Just go up here and click the Save button. And we're going to give this a name. Let's just call this Classic Comic. And the things that we're going to be saving, we're going to save the paper color, we're going to save the basic expression color, the template, we're not using a template, so we're not going to save any template. And we're just going to save it like that. So now anytime we want to use this again, it'll just be on the, the drop down menu. And if we want to get rid of it, we can just click trash and it'll disappear. So that is our basic setup. If you slide down, you'll see this multiple pages. That is for a story. I'll show you how to do that later. You may not have this if you're not using EX. If you're using Pro, it won't show up, I don't believe. And we can just click OK. Oh, I didn't change the file name. It's, it says New Canvas, but that's that can be modified later on too. Now, looking at this, you may find this a little confusing, but I'll explain what this means. So. Zoom in a little on the edge of this. Okay, so these two lines right here are pointing to the edge of the page. So the edge of the page is actually right, oops, going back to the pencil. The edge of the page is right here, this, this line right here. And this area in here is the area that you don't want any of your main work to be in. Anything important, anything lettering, you don't want it to be in this area because it could theoretically be cut off. This area out here is called the bleed. You can work into this area and it may, depending on how it is cut, it may or may not be included, but it, this is where the edge of the page is supposed to be right here. And you can just think of this as, this is your main area in here. Have your captions, your panels in here and not don't have anything that's important out of here. Does that make sense? So that is how you set up a page.